Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm very excited. I have several new pickups and if you read the title, they're all Janet Jackson pickups so there's no surprise there. And I have some vinyl pickups and some that are not vinyl. Well, it's mainly like one big one that's not vinyl, but check it out. All right, great. So the first record I got is Got To This Gun it is the single from The Velvet Rope. Um, but this one is the remixes that I got. Um, so this one has like the Nelly Hooper house remix. It has the Umar remixes on here. It has the Mellow Mix, which is a really smooth remix. And I believe a few other ones. Um, yeah, the Garage Mix, the Beck Radio Mix. And um, it has like the instrumental just from like the original version on here. So I really wanted it for um, the house remixes on here. And then also like the Dilla remixes that are on here are also really nice. So this is just one of the records that I wanted to have um, along with all my other Janny records. So yeah. Next record I have is another favorite Janet track. Uh, it's Because of Love that is from the Janet album. Uh, it's also like one of my favorite new Jack Swing tracks. And then here, this is um, the remixes. So this one has the Frankie Knuckles remix. I'm not sure if many of you heard it, but you should definitely check it out. The cover's cool. It has like all these like photos from, um, it looks like a shoe or I'm, I don't remember seeing like an official, official, official music video with like a higher production. Um, I don't remember seeing a music video for this song. Um, one of the videos I have seen, which, you know, maybe the music video is just like Janet, like walking around town or walking with her friends. And um, yeah, I think that's the one though, but but I've probably only seen that like a couple times. I usually just listen to the song and keep it moving or I'm dancing to it. So yeah, one of my favorites. Next album I have is Dream Street by Janet Jackson. Um, I have listened to this album maybe like twice. I love it. <laughs> very 80s, very funky, um, very, very my speed. And of course it's gonna be my speed because it's Janet. So, so yeah. Uh, but also never seen this photo before. This photo is pretty cool. And then I like how um, these other photos of like any press shoots or promo shoots for the album and you see her and her brothers like in a studio Michael Jackson's making a little cameo there uh, But yeah, my favorite track from this is don't stand another chance I play that in like some DJ sets like for those 80s 80s funk 80s boogie sets um, But yeah, this is one of the albums that's before control um, so I don't think it gets enough credit. Like this is an amazing album. And yeah, she rocking the key and the earring here too. I'm really excited to just have it um, along with all the other Janet albums. And actually, I'm happy to have every Janet record or album that I can find. Like I'm 100% appreciative. All right, this one came in the mail like a couple weeks ago and I was surprised that there were uh, more remixes of, of this song. Um, I'm used to the, to the Sheps remix. That's the one that I have played in my sets. And um, this one has the UK like funky mix, which is really cool because it starts out with an acapella uh, for like the first like 15 to 20 seconds or so. And then it gets into uh, a really great beat. So I really just wanted to have this. Uh, it's Love Will Never Do, the remixes. And um, yeah, I love this photo. This photo is so nice. Um, and yeah, just like looking at the record. I mean, it doesn't look like it was played that much. Um, it's just a little, it's just a little dirty. <laughs> it's just a little dirty, but um, yeah, it's a pretty cool album. 
Um, I've listened to it a couple times already and it sounds great. The quality is great. Um, and yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. The last album that I have is That's The Way Love Goes um, from the Janet album. And this one, you see, it's just like white Janet, period. <laughs> and uh, this one has a few of the That's The Way Love Goes remixes uh, that I really enjoy. They're the house remixes. And on this one, um, you have like the original version and then you have like, um, there's like a, a house version on here, a house remix. And then there's the CJ R&B 12 inch mix, which um, it is R&B, but it's, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like hip hop soul a bit. Um, but yeah, it's a little different than, than the original track, um, but still pretty great. And then, so this one I actually found in the record store and was pretty surprised that it was there because I found it in the dollar bin. And um, it's, doesn't it this one also doesn't look like it was played that often it's still in pretty great condition and overall for real i got it for a steal <laughs> like some of these remixes and these singles that i come up on it's just like oh, i would think that they would be up there with the other like higher priced or um higher valued records but i don't know that just goes to show to me that like you know whoever priced these records or whatever they go for online, it's like people just have like their different values or their dollars that they would set for it. Cause me, like I definitely priced this a lot higher than what I paid for it. So that's all my Janet Jackson vinyl pickups that I had recently got, uh, either that I ordered in or that I found at a record store. But this one that I have, like I, I am so happy. Like I have been eyeing this item for months. And then, you know what? I just finally like pulled the trigger on it. It was like, I'm getting this. Yeah, I'm getting this and I'm gonna be so happy. And as you can see from my face, like I'm super happy. So let me do it. Ooh. This is the Janet Jackson Rhythm Nation 1990 World Tour 30th Anniversary Limited Edition Jacket. I am so happy to have this jacket. I looked all over YouTube, all over online to see if anyone else had this jacket that they posted about it. Just so like I can know the correct size to order for myself. But I went through the size. I ordered a medium and I was really impressed with the quality of this jacket. Um, it fits me really nice. I love the look of it. I'm definitely going to be wearing this often in late fall, winter. And then the ultimate test for me to see like if something is comfortable, whether they're shoes or jackets or another piece of clothing, I have to be able to dance in it. I gotta be able to do the running man and the, you know do all my moves in it. And this definitely passed the test in a size medium. All right, cool. I wanna thank everybody for tuning into this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all in the next video.